Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at my Toro Time Master mower. And in particular here, we're looking at the front axle adjustment. You can see this is all the way over to the right. And that's because it will not actually bite in at positions B, C, or D. Let me bring you in a little bit closer here. All right, there, hopefully you can see some of these teeth here have basically become gnashed. This is after just a touch over five years of usage. I'm a little disappointed that I have to replace this part. I didn't really consider this to be a consumable part, but obviously I guess it is. So that's what we're doing today is replacing the front axle height adjustment on a 30 inch Toro Time Master mower. I think this should be the same for almost all generations of these mowers. I know there's been a few small variants over the last seven or eight years that Toro's had this mower on the market, but I'm not sure there's that many other uh, changes to that specific part. So here's how we're gonna tackle that today. The tools that you're gonna need for this project can be relatively simple. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is probably a 3 8 ratchet. You could get away with a quarter inch ratchet too if you'd like on this. And then you're gonna need two sockets, a 3 8 and a half inch socket. And then you're gonna want maybe at least a four inch or six inch extension. There's gonna be one bolt in particular that's gonna require an extension you're gonna to have to get to. You're gonna need a T30 Torx key. Uh, there's a couple bolts that require it to be held with a T30 on the inside, but to be able to get access to those T30 ports, chances are you're gonna need a pick to go pick out the grass so you can put your T30 Torx key in. And then a 3 8 of an inch ratcheting wrench. And that's it. So relatively simple set of tools here that you need. Uh, and then you'll need about 15 minutes of your time if that to be able to crank this out. The part that you're gonna need is a replacement from Toro. This is part number 12070-37-03. And at least for me, this was shipped in a plastic bag. Comes black and should look exactly like the part that comes out. You uh, will of course want to double check to make sure that everything matches on the way in and on the way out. And so now with that look at the parts, let's go back over to the mower and get started on this project. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this mower on its back so we can remove that front shroud over the axle to get a little bit easier access to that axle. And then we're gonna use a 3 8 socket to be able to remove this bolt here to remove that front shroud. Now, while the axle is still in place and the shroud is here, we've at least removed one of the pinch points on it so we can get that off later. And now there's two little bolts right here that we're gonna need to remove that hold basically this carrier assembly that moves up and down within that bracket that we're gonna need to remove. And so that's just a 3 8 ratcheting wrench. There, and maybe you can see this pops down here. And then if you lift that out, the axle there now is free from the bracket. All right, so now you can see with those last two screws out, we've got full access to this bracket here. And then now we have to remove the bracket from inside. And then now to get this out, there is going to be one bolt right here with a 3 8 socket and a quick extension. That separates the height adjustment bracket from the plastic shroud. So you, you can see now where I can pop that away. And then now that gives me access to these one, two, three bolts here holding this onto the mower deck. So then with a half inch socket. So now to remove the bracket, we're gonna to need to use a T30 Torx key. And there's one, two, three bolts on the mower deck right there that we're gonna to have to be able to hold with a T30 Torx key. You may have to use a pick to clean it out. Cause if you don't put in the T30 Torx key, you won't be able to actually ratchet it off. Then on the back side, we're gonna be using a half inch socket and then we're gonna put that together to be able to remove the bolts here that hold this together. So you can see that just spits right off right there.
there's one, and there's going to be three of these. And then now here's my bracket, comes right out just like that. You can really see how this got chewed up here and is why this is no longer actually holding. Uh, and so the obvious symptom that I had was the fact that my mower deck just kept squatting all the way down to the ground. So now we're gonna use our part and we're gonna replace this uh, with a brand new part. And now before we go too far with reassembly, I've got the part that I just removed here in my right hand and the new part in the left hand. Just wanna make sure that these are indeed the same correct part. I believe so, everything seems to line up. They're the same size, the holes are in the same spot. Everything about these looks correct. So I feel good about moving on to the next step. Just a quick moment there can save you lots of frustration later. And so now to install this, I'm gonna go ahead and start by wrapping this around the axle like this and getting this approximately into the spot where it's gonna be. We have to make sure we also get the that black housing to the right spot as well. That's gonna go behind this. And then there is the, if we wanna call it the bushing that, where that holds the axle in place. This has to get inside the bracket as well. And once we're at least close, we're gonna go ahead and put in a bolt here from the inside. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my other several bolts. I should hopefully provide the support that I need in this bracket. There we go, we've got those three in place. All three of the nuts that we took off were lock nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and just slightly start those by hand. And now we're gonna use our T30 Torx key again. I'm gonna put my ratchet and socket on the back side here. Obviously you could use a T30 Torx socket as well. I'm just gonna get these slightly loose to begin with just enough that I can come back later and then tighten it up. Now I could not actually find on the Toro website an exact torque spec for a torque wrench to come back and get these. So we're just gonna have to get these to whatever we feel is uh, good and tight and tight enough. I know some of you folks out there love your torque specs and I'm sorry that I don't have a torque, a number to be able to give you today. There we go, that's good. And then now the next thing is we'll take this, I don't know if we want to, the bushing if you will, put that into place and we got our little screws that we're gonna set down into place here. We'll have to come back and get this with our ratchet, our 3 8 ratcheting wrench.
Now with these, be careful you don't over tighten them. This is just screws going into plastic here. There we go. And now we've got one more screw that's gonna go here to hold on the front axle cover. This is where I'm gonna use the 3 8 socket with the extension on my ratchet. There we go. All right, now the next thing I need to do is to be able to get the last bolt right here. Make sure this shroud is lined up. Careful not to over tighten this so you don't strip the plastic. Then you can come back and give it a final once over if you need it. I'll just come back with the ratcheting wrench. And now we should be back in business with our front height adjustment, hopefully locking back into place. We'll flip it back over. We'll double check our work now. All right, so this is all the way back. So the real question is when I go to say position C, will it hold? It looks like it's biting and we're gonna hold there and see. B or A. So now we're back in business and able to mow again. Now it's not, now it's completely possible that this could have sprung as well or bent and you may need to bend this back a little bit uh, to make sure that it actually bites into that proper tooth for your front height adjustment. So with that, you're done. Pretty simple, uh, very easy repair. No reason to take this in to get this fixed. Uh, the cost of the part was about $16, if I remember right. Not too bad, and just a few basic tools. So with that, if you found this video useful and interesting, give it a thumbs up. I've got a playlist of a bunch of other uh, repairs and modifications I've done to my Toro Time Master. Check that out. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.